Okay, this is not a big <laughs> This is just too <laughs> cheap. <laughs> I think, I think actually walking is right now more difficult than riding my bike. <laughs> oh, I'm getting everything, baby. Don't record that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, watching, he's watching the newborn giraffe. Thank you very much. Ladies and germs, we're finally going to uh, be going bike packing here. And... Um, Sorry, I'm eating a muffin. So we are in uh, Beverly, Washington, and we're going to be crossing the Beverly Bridge. That's part of the John Wayne Trail, or the Plus de Cascades Trail, or the Milwaukee Trail, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we're going to be riding it uh, westward. So we're in Beverly, and we're about to take the Beverly Bridge that has just been opened. It's brand new, it's only been open a couple months and uh which is part of the john wayne trail or plus to cascades trail whatever you want to call it anyway we're going to be taking that bridge for the first time and uh over into the uh army um, training area uh, which we'll have to cross that um so this should be kind of fun it's a going to be a quaint uh bike packing adventure and we'll we're we're packed down pretty well <laughs> We've got five days of uh, food and water, and yeah, and uh, also it's uh, there's a heat wave going on right now, so it's early in the morning, but we're we're already into the mid 80s, so we're and the trail, this first section of the trail's first 30 miles or so is going to be no shade, so we got we got to get going. All right, I'm going. Never the bridge time. beginning of the ride <clears throat> so this is the uh, honeymoon phase everybody's getting along and uh, we're excited but uh, I'm thinking another 20 miles the dynamic will have shifted 
<laughs> what do you think about that, Sam? Is that an accurate, uh, you know, uh, assumption? Well, I think after 20 miles, we'll be hitting the wine country. A lot of whining going on. <laughs> Jeez, why did we do this? Cheese and rice. Yeah, whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> and bringing back the 1920s adage, is this trip really necessary? <laughs> <laughs> Which great. Oh. Why do I feel like I'm going to be saying that? Oh, shit. You know what you need? You need a landing. Whoa. You need a landing. Is that the same thing? I wonder what I'm putting my hand yeah. into in here. At a harbor where you had to fill it no. out and they said if there's no pins or just go for it yeah they said just put it put a note on the dashboard saying hey there was no Man. there was no leaflets or what does it say here on the oh they do have a number you could maybe you could just text because yeah there's nothing there's been nothing what if this dude's got a pen <clears throat> i should just uh holy cow so folks we're at the uh uh lewis mccord training center so it's a 20 mile crossing going this way and uh, we just crossed the beverly bridge you can see it in the distance there and uh but to cross the base you have to fill out these tickets you got to put your name and uh you know just by information you put one here right and then the other one at the, the other, other end you sign out at the end of the uh uh trail the 20 miles you put the other ticket in, the, in these steel box so that way they know that everybody's off the off the property so i guess we could just go for it you want a car or no i don't know i just just go for it i oh, guess okay. we'll, so uh but that's to, i thought that was in advance yeah that's if you do group rides there's there's different ways to cross oh, this MWR. but uh oh well we're just gonna you know what? we're just gonna go for it but we're, we're kind of in a rush because oh, so, the temperature is just rising uh, every minute we're out here. So uh, we're totally going to need to uh, uh, hurry. But uh, anyway, so the kiosk here, usually there's all sorts of pencils here and nothing. Uh, so we can't fill out the ticket. And of course, with all the, the crap we have in our bags, all the stuff that we've packed, nothing to write with. It's real uh we we plan for everything except having to fill out forms in an emergency <laughs> we just figured at the hospital they'd probably have plenty of, pe of uh of pens <laughs> Okay, we are ten and a half miles through uh, the Army training facility, uh, and that's about halfway, almost almost halfway. So, how are we feeling, gentlemen? Fuck. Yeah. Twenty-one. Sam's uh, reapplying the sunblock. I think I do that yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. I think at the rate we're sweating, probably advised. Yeah, P Pugsley number one doing doing well. Yep, absolutely. Even overloaded. <laughs> Sweet. It's doing better than I am. Pugsley number two with the 29ers on it. Doing good. Doing swell. Look at how this this is pretty slick setup here. She's uh behaving well. Yeah.
I could drop maybe 10, 15 pounds off of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Craig, we all can do that. Me, you're going to drop 10 to 15 pounds before we're done. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Or me. I hope it's me. Yeah, it's hot. What's the, what do you Most think the temperature? Be you. Let's see. Let's see if well, I get any reading. Does anybody know the temperature reading? No. I, I, no. You don't I'm even want to know. You. I don't want to know it. If you want to tell me, I'll just, I'll just plug my ears. I won't it. tell you. We won't. We won't tell you what it is. Okay, wait. <laughs> well, no, I'll show. I'll show uh, if we do have. Do you have signal out here? Uh, We're in the middle of nowhere, man. Where are we? It's comparable to. Uh, um. Freya or. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're. Ooh, I just got LTD. LTD. Nothing. Uh, yeah. It's hot though. It's uh. Coverage, Craig? Yeah, yeah cells, cell phones don't work out here too well. All right. This is where we're going. Oh boy, some of these gaps are quite narrow. I scraped the last time I went through. Oh man, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Oh, barely scraped. Close. Look at this crazy place. You know, I, I know they renamed this the Palooza Cascades Trail. Probably more accurate name, but uh, it'll always be the John Wayne Trail to me. And uh, it's just, parts of it are just really remote. Uh, it's just amazing. An amazing trail. Because it's a ways in there to get to. <laughs> I didn't waste that much energy. So <clears throat> here's the uh, tunnel bypass road. Is this way? Uh, so when you're in the um, ar army training area the this used to be the way to go and there was a nice tunnel uh, but the tunnels just clogged and it's fallen rocks and it's just way overgrown uh, the last person I saw who made it through the tunnel had to kind of machete his way through and it was a big ordeal so uh, hopefully they can fix the tunnel that would be nice but there's a sign over there it talks about the ride around so anyway this ride around's kind of bumpy uh, but, and it's steep, it kind of comes up and you go over the tunnel, cross back down and then, uh, yeah, it's, so I don't know, how many miles do you think this is? Mm. The, the ride around, when we did it last time, was it, is it like a two mile? I have no idea. It's, it's a couple mile, but it's, it's climbing, so it's gonna be steep, so yay, fun. The ride with GPS will tell you. Yeah. What's our altitude, what have we done so far? Uh, let's see. Like we uh, have done over 1200. Our climb so far, we've climbed 1772 feet. What in 15.8 miles? Yeah, almost 2000. Yeah, and over, almost 100 over 100 miles, uh, over 100 feet a mile. Yeah, wow. So that's it's actually more. I think it's it's a false flat though. I mean, the it's like a 2.2 grade, 2.2 oh, percent uh, grade most of the way. So it's a little bit more than a false flat, but. Uh, you know, most of it I think is it's just sandy. The sand trail kind of slows you down, makes it a little harder work. All right, well, am I gonna start this yeah. this shit show here? Yeah. All right. oh. Hopefully, I can make it without walking.
Okay, so we made it over the bypass, the tunnel bypass, and uh, <clears throat> it wasn't as steep as I remember. But um, yeah, it's uh, now we're into this last, I don't know, four miles or so, four or five miles to go, and it's pretty sandy. This is known as the sandy area. So, but our <clears throat> miles an hour has gone way up because it's a, you know, kind of a, a slight downhill. It's a 1.2% grade downhill. So it's working in our favor here. So seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, it'll be good to get out of the, the training area here. This, this place is hot with no shade. So our next, uh, uh, point of interest will be uh, Kittitas, and then shortly after Kittitas will be Ellensburg. So uh, we hope to arrive there. Uh, you know, not not too much, not too much more. Hopefully. Okay. Well, we uh, finished. Uh, the military okay. base here, but this is uh, this is hot. I do, did we even find out what the temperature was? It's supposed to be it's supposed to be like 110 today here, and so we we're trying to get it in the morning so we would miss most of the uh, most of the heat. But uh, you know, it just took us a little longer. It's really sandy, and and this section here at Army West or East or whatever they call it, we're on the west side of the base is particularly sandy it's really bad especially if you're coming up this way if you're traveling this way it's it's real pain um anyway because we're going this way we're gonna you know get out of a lot of the problems with the sand but it's slow going and it's it's a real problem so anyway uh we're gonna sign out here on the uh on the kiosk here and then just make our way down over uh this is i-90 here in washington if you know i-90 and uh, hopefully this bridge is open and we'll take the bridge across over and our next little town will be kittitas and then on to ellensburg Proof you were here. That's a bridge, man. <clears throat> Look how high this is. This is freaky. Oh. Woo. Oh. Holy cow. I you don't realize how far off the ground you are with this bridge. You're showing me a whole bit of the bypasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Want to see an aerial shot? Yeah, <laughs> drop. That's, uh, I don't think it'd make it. Yeah, maybe. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> well, that's cool. <clears throat> Okay, we made it to Kittitas as the 
sign will show you. This is the historic Kittitas uh, train station, I guess. It's just, uh, I don't know what they use this building for, but it's just a historic Kittitas train station. Yeah. They made it into a park here since they took up the tracks. So uh, we arrived here, and uh, boy, are we grateful for the shade and the, and the respite and the water. They have a tap here, so we're. I doused my shirt, water, put it back on. <laughs> Feels amazing. And uh, it's, yeah, it's just broiling. So they have uh, temperature advisories out. This is just the worst time to do this ride, really. But we're doing it anyway, because uh, we're not a bunch of losers, so. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, this is just, just a side note. If you are not acclimated to this, the temperatures in Eastern Washington this time of year, like a 90 and above, if you don't train 90 and above, just be aware that your body's gonna take a beating. Okay. I'm, from, I'm from Western Washington and I was tapping out coming up the hill. 6% uh, grade, okay, and I was tapping out. So just be aware, your body's gonna take a beating. You can get through it. Yeah, you can do it. It just, uh... It can be hard. That's the thing about these trips. It can be, uh, there's going to be difficult moments. Except for Craig. Craig never gets this difficult moments. Craig just yeah, keeps right. going. He just keeps going. He's like a, he's like a Rolex or something, you know? He just you keeps going. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel heat right now. Maybe we'll go to the market here and get some stock up on water and uh, get some Coke. food. Coke. So, Coke, yeah. Craig's going to get a Coke. For God's sakes, get the man a Coke. <laughs> get him a Coke. Get him a Coke.